Some people think that it is better to educate boys and girls in separate schools. Others, however, believe that boys and girls benefit more from attending mixed schools. Discuss both these views and give your own opinion. The topic of whether boys and girls should be educated in separate schools or mixed gender schools has been a subject of ongoing debate. Some proponents argue that separate schools offer tailored learning environments and fewer distractions, while others believe that mixed schools promote diversity and essential social skills. This essay aims to present both views and provide my own opinion on the matter. Supporters of separate schools assert that they allow teachers to tailor their teaching methods to suit the specific learning styles and needs of boys and girls. This approach can lead to improved academic performance and foster a more focused learning environment. Furthermore, separate schools can create a safe space where students are free from gender stereotypes and societal pressures. Boys and girls may feel more comfortable exploring diverse interests and engaging in activities without the fear of judgment or bias. On the other hand, proponents of mixed gender schools argue that they offer students the opportunity to interact with individuals from diverse backgrounds and perspectives. Such exposure can enhance social skills, empathy, and understanding of the opposite gender which are valuable attributes in a multicultural world. Mixed gender schools also simulate real-life situations, preparing students for coexistence and collaboration in the professional and personal spheres. This setting allows boys and girls to learn from each other's unique strengths and experiences, fostering a sense of equality and respect. However, it is essential to recognize the potential downsides of both approaches. Separate schools may inadvertently reinforce gender stereotypes, limiting students' ability to challenge societal norms. Additionally, lack of interaction with the opposite gender may hinder the development of critical social skills. In mixed gender schools, there could be distractions and social pressures that might interfere with academic focus. Moreover, educators may face challenges in addressing the diverse learning needs of boys and girls, potentially impacting the quality of education. In conclusion, both separate and mixed gender schools offer unique advantages and disadvantages. While separate schools may provide tailored learning environments, mixed gender schools foster diversity and essential social skills. My opinion is that a balanced approach should be adopted, considering individual learning preferences, cultural factors, and the specific needs of each community. Ultimately, the goal should be to create inclusive, supportive, and diverse educational environments that empower all students, regardless of their gender.